Cal, a goal is draw, a point on the road this afternoon at Leamington. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, tough place to come and get a clean sheet. Uh, really tough test, make it difficult. Uh, they work very, very hard uh, and create situations in games that pose you a real question. I think once again, talked about them on, on Tuesday night, a really young back five, inclusive of the goalkeeper, um, can be really, really proud of the clean sheet they've got. Neither side did enough to win it, uh, but I think it should have been a score draw, if that makes sense. I think both teams have had moments around the 18-yard box. Um, there's particularly two that I can I can really recall in the first half on, on second phase set pieces. And for us, I feel like we've worked two fairly decent opportunities, one right at the beginning of the game and one right at the end of the game, um, where what I say that is from the goalkeeper to deny Charlie Caton. For us, it's important we analyse our results as us and we have to reflect only on our own results and our own points target and our own situation. So results aren't good or bad because of anything else that happens around us. And in the same way, um, we've got to only reflect on our own performances. So would have wanted more from us today, I'll be honest. But what we got, um, we've got to be quite proud of in terms of the industry and endeavour. Uh, but I, I repeat what I said to you on, on Tuesday night. The next game's going to come around really, really quick. Um, Tuesday night, home game, tough opposition, different type of test. We've got to focus on getting ready for that. As you say, this away game sort of sat in between four home games with four wins coming into this as well. You've almost got a bit of credit in the bank where you can you can take this point and quickly move on and there's a, a big opportunity to try and get back-to-back -back wins in these two home games coming up. I think uh, seven points. Seven points will guarantee a playoff spot seven points in nine games that's got to be the first target what is so exciting is the way in which we've spoken about this week around competing right at the top and I smile when I say it because it's fantastic it's it's a real reflection on what the players have done and what their the contribution has been this season and where the club's at but the first target for us which um, I don't think I think it's got to be the ultimate expense, expectation but I think the ambition this season has got to be to get in a playoff spot to be seven points away from that that's got to be the first target after that and we're guaranteed to finish seventh can we go and guarantee a sixth place finish and then a fifth and then a fourth and then and just see where it takes us so these points um at the start of the next block of games for us ahead of two home games puts us in a really decent position delighted with the away return to still only lost one game away from home so back to back clean sheets to have the demanding schedule which look to be fair they have as well Leamington are in a similar position for us to have come through all that and to be winning those home games that we have this week to be picking up the point on the road um, I think the reflection on this performance and result can probably only take place after Tuesday's game Yeah, as, as you say, a solid point on the road and another good following on the road I think I think we haven't had it 100% confirmed but I think it was 400 Chester fans in a crowd at 900 which is a, a remarkable figure isn't it? Yeah, fair play to them because it's not it's not round the corner as a game um, it probably would be last on match of the day but <laughs> It's a bad day Let's to not be talk talking. about match of the yeah, day. Yeah, it's a bad day to be talking about match of the day. Um, it won't, there won't be loads of highlights from it. Fair play to them. The, the support that they have given the team at home, yeah, a lot gets made of our decent home crowds, and it's nice to see that that home following reinvigorated. Our away support has been magnificent, and I, I thought that the numbers, to be fair, at, at centre three, I thought, wow, some have, have really turned out. And where I kick myself is you always want to reward them with three points, five star performances. They've been rewarded with a point, a really industrious battling team, team full of commitment. What we need to do is back a point up today with three points at home. And if we can do that, I said it a couple of weeks ago, if we can draw and win and draw and win between now and the end of the season, we'll be in a really solid position. It's an exciting end to the season. Really, really exciting end. We're in a brilliant moment and uh, a lot long may that continue. But Tuesday felt brilliant and uh, you can get really excited. I didn't. I, I probably spoke in a really similar way to this and said it's all going to be about Leamington on Saturday get on the coach, reflect on what we need to reflect on from this game and everything that helps us try and win the game on Tuesday night.